What's going on, YouTube? My name is Legendary Lee, and today it's time for part two. Oh, oh, I'm unbeatable. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, here we are with part two of my PSA returns from December of 2020. That's right, 15 months later. Technically, I sent it off at the end of November, but it was considered a December submission. Um, but here we are. We've got 26 cards in today's uh, PSA returns. If you haven't seen part one, go check that out. There's the the video before this is part one of opening the first half of this batch. So it was 51 cards total. So definitely go check that out. And we're gonna go ahead and get into today's video. And while we do, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. I do all sorts of Pokemon trading card content on this channel as well as PSA returns, as you can see. So let's go ahead and get into it. And uh, of course, some of these cards that you will see today and from the last video will be up for auction when this video goes live. The week that this video goes live. Um, so if you're interested, check the link in the description down below if you uh, care to do a little bit of shopping of some PSA cards. All right. I sent five of these, so we're going to just go through them rapid fire. Ten. Perfect. Ten. Perfect. Ten. Perfect. Okay. Can we go five for five on those Illustrator Charizards? We can. <laughs> Wow, <laughs> five PSA 10 Charizard. You know what, guys? One person does not need five PSA 10 Charizards. So it's time for a giveaway. We're gonna give one of these PSA 10 Charizards away to one of you. To be entered, just like always, leave a comment down below. I'll use a random comment picker to pick a winner uh, one week from today. And um, yeah, I'll contact the person and we'll get in touch. And um, yeah, I'll get you your free PSA 10 Illustrator Charizard. This is a beautiful card, by the way. Um, I honestly didn't think I was gonna get all 10s. I mean, I thought they had a chance because Japanese cards are, you know, just made better. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna give one of them away to you, the loyal watchers of my videos. All right, so we got those out of the way. Five 10s, that's a great, great start. Um, all right, let's let's keep it moving. All right, we got a base set Charmander. Um, ooh, my gosh, the centering is atrocious. Oh my goodness, there's no way this is a ten. Yeah, that's fair. You know, that's a good job, PSA. You did you did right that time. That was a, that was a bad. I don't know why I sent that. Ooh, Charizard EX. Now I do remember sending two. This was a massive Charizard um, submission, by the way. Tons of different Charizard cards. Um, so, I'm. Uh, I know. I know. There's another one of these right after this one. PSA 10. Perfect. That's what I was expecting from that. Here's another one. Okay. No. So maybe it's a little bit later. I don't. I don't remember exactly where it is. But we got a Lieutenant Sergeus Pikachu from Jim Hero. Yeah, Jim Heroes. This one was solid. Nine or ten. Ten. Let's get it. Awesome. All right. Next one up. An Ivysaur from Base Set 2. Fun fact, Base Set 2 is the last pack, like last set I remember opening as a child before I just stopped opening uh, Pokemon cards until I was an adult again in college. Um, I can tell you exactly where it was. I was sitting in a Radio Shack parking lot. That's how long ago this was, probably in the early 2000s, opening up a Gyarados Base Set 2 pack. Crazy, right? Crazy how I just remember that, and I can't remember what I had for breakfast yesterday. Don't know. All right, so here we go. Base at two. Ten. Let's go. Heck yes. Love to see it. Oh, we got a Charmeleon from base at two. Another really good condition card, I think. Yeah, I think this is probably ten as well. Yeah. I pay, I really picked some good ones for this one, um, as I recall. Uh, good condition, that is. Now, this one I know is not in good condition. No, this is not the one. Dang, there was an Eevee from the last video. I thought it was... a. I think there's an Eevee in one of the videos. I don't know. I don't know if it's one I've already done. There's an Eevee that I remember sending off. I had a huge nick at the top. And I was like, oh, I don't remember seeing that. And I thought it was that last Eevee from the first part one of this video. But it wasn't. So I thought it was this Eevee. But as you can see, it's not. So I don't I don't know what I'm thinking of. But that's a Team Rockets Eevee. Let's go. Ten. That's a cute little card. Look at that cute little Eevee. And we are stacking up those tens. Bunch of tens and an eight. I, I love it. Oh, this has got a. This is the EV. <laughs> I did not realize I sent three EVs. Okay, 
Now this one is gonna get like six or five. Look at that giant notch out of the top right there. Yeah, I didn't realize when I was sending these um, until I was doing the actual video how bad this one was condition wise. <laughs> what? That doesn't make any sense. Look at that. That is so, that is a, such a big, just like chunk. Wow. Okay. Sure. PSA 9. Sure. Okay. I'll take it. All right. Pikachu, yellow cheeks, base set again. Here we go. I think this one's got a chance for a 10, if I do recall. Yes. Love to see it, guys. Those 10s are really, really stacking up. All right, next one. Ooh, Pikachu. Okay, so this is a Pikachu promo from the uh, Mewtwo Strikes Back uh, collector's chest. Um, in part one of this return, I uh, um, revealed the the Mewtwo and the Charizard grade. So if you want to see those, definitely go check that out. Um, so I'm going to say this one gets a nine. Yep. Those things are incredibly hard to grade. Incredibly hard to grade. Just because of how poorly they were put in there and to get them out it's like doing surgery to try not get them damaged sometimes they're already damaged just from being in there crazy wow i sent another eevee i sent four eevees in this the submission and i sent two of this one i didn't even realize i did that oh this one's in terrible look at that there's this is like a eight set yeah that's that's fair that's terrible condition i don't know why i even sent that okay moving along <laughs> Why did I send this? Why? Back then, man, into 2020, you sent whatever you could. It didn't even matter. It was $10 a card to grade. You just filled it up, and the more cards you sent, the bigger the discount you got. So that's why I had to make sure I got to 50 cards for the submission. So this is why this reverse Charmeleon from Evolutions is in this <laughs> submission. But probably going to be a 9 because Evolutions is such hard grade to set. Or set. Such a hard grade to set. No, such a hard set to grade. So let's see. Yeah. I, I have yet to get a 10 from anything Evolutions that I've graded. Not a single card. Not a single card. I don't... Oh, I know that Charizard EX from earlier. That's a, that's from Evolutions. That was a 10. I mean, just like... Hollow Rares and Reverse Hollow Rares like this. Those are just like impossible, man. I'm telling you, they're really hard to get. The EX cards are easier to get, which makes no sense. Oh, I sent two... <laughs> Oh my gosh, dude. I sent two. This one's definitely not good. It's like how off-centered it is. It's not good to 10. Yeah, it's nine. Okay. Terribly off-centered on that one. Wow. All right. Moving along. Next card up. Oh, I sent up several of these. I think there's like five of these things. This is the uh, Cracked Ice Hollow um, Charizard from Vivid Voltage theme deck. I sent... Wow, this card is just like cut weird. Look at the shape. Look at the top left corner. That is so odd. It's not even shaped correctly. That's so strange. Like it didn't get cut properly or something. Let's see what we got here. A nine on that one. Okay. I think the next like four cards are this same card. Yeah, they are. I hate when I... That's kind of boring. I hate that for you guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I did that. Okay, let's see. It's probably going to be a 9, too. Okay, that's a 10. Let's go. Let's get it. Some of these, like I said, some of these cards that you see today will be in for auction. Link in the description. If you've forgotten. Don't worry, it's fine. I forgot, too. All right, here's another one. I don't know what we got on that one. 9? Okay. Uh, if there's only one 10, I'm keeping that 10. I might sell some of these 9s here. Um, another one. I think there's one more after this. Let's see. 10? Okay, two 10s. Let's get it. This is a really cool artwork. You got Leon there in the back. You got the cracked hollow that you can only get from the theme deck. So I bought a bunch of those theme decks. This is okay. So, all right. So I had four, right? Four, two tens, two nines. Yeah, two. Okay. And then I had the reverse just straight out of Vivid Voltage, the set. Here's the reverse foil. Uh, I think this one was pretty good. Let's see here. Ten, yes, let's go. No, it's the same artwork, obviously, but this is just the reverse foil. Because I don't think there was a regular hollow there. I don't, yeah, I don't think. Was there? 
No, I don't think so. Correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. Um, I don't think there was a regular hollow rare in Vivid Voltage of this card. But, could be wrong. Alright, next one up. We got three cards left. Oh, this is one I totally forgot about, but it's one I've really been, really been wanting to get this one back. The Vivid Voltage pre-release promo Charizard. I believe this is a 10. It's a really good condition. Really good condition. Let's go. Yes. Yes, let's go, man. Look at that thing. This is a this is a beautiful artwork. This is one of my I don't even like collect Charizard cards like that. Um, but this one is just the artwork is so sick. I love it. Really cool. Going on the tent pile. Hell yes. <laughs> Alright, two cards left. I don't remember what they can be. I know one card, I, I was informed that one of my cards that I sent was not graded, unfortunately. It was the error water energy card that I sent if you remember from the submission video and if you haven't watched the submission video, go just go watch the submission video you can see me talk about it and, and try to guess what I'm gonna get that was in uh, December of 2020 so it was a long, a long time ago um, but I don't remember what else I sent let's just see let's see oh wow an evolutions hollow Zapdos whoa why why I don't know why I was trying to fill that card that card quota this was not bad actually Centering on the front is really off, but it, because it's yellow, it's hard to tell. So maybe a 10, but probably a 9. Ooh, let's go. A 10, a hollow rare. That's my first just hollow rare 10 from Evolutions. Let's get it. Cool. Really cool. Okay. Nice. All right. Last card up. No idea what it is. Oh my gosh. This thing. <laughs> This is from uh, the one of the worst sets ever made. I think it's Emerging Powers. Yeah, it's right there. Emerging Powers. This set is so bad. There's nothing worth noting in this set except for Thunderous, Thunderous Tornadus, and Landorus. And this is like the, these full arts that they have. 2011 from Black and White. The set has like these cards, even like a PSA 10, are like $80 if that last time I checked. So it's like the set's best card in a PSA 10, value wise, is like 80 bucks. So it's really just like a lackluster set. I mean, it's cool to have maybe some sealed stuff of it, but in general, Emerging Powers is known up there with like Steam Siege as just one of the worst. It's not good, not good. All right, well, let's see what we got on this one. Uh, I've, I've literally had this one since like 2012. I pulled this myself like in 2012, maybe 2013 when I was getting back into Pokemon, me and my roommate back in college. Um, so I don't know, maybe. This is definitely going to be the one on the one-star for auction because I absolutely hate this Pokemon. I hate all those three. They're just terribly designed to me. All right, let's see what we got. Ooh, 10. Yeah, let's go. I, I kept pretty good. Like, I kept these in pretty good shape. Like, I sleeved them even back then. Uh, even, even when I'm not on camera and I'm open. I barely, I rarely open stuff off camera, though. You know, you got to gotta get the views. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I always kept my cards in really great condition. As you can see, this is a... Um, I've had this for 10 years and it got a PSA 10. So, heck yeah. Really great returns, actually. I'm really happy with the numbers. I'm not going to tell you the numbers from the first video. I got them stacked up over there um, as far as 10s and, and whatnot. Um, just because I want you to go watch that first one if you haven't already. But like I said before, leave a comment down below if you want the chance to win one of these Illustrator Charizards. I didn't expect to get five tens, so I'm just going to give one away because why not? Uh, I appreciate you guys watching so much, so I definitely want to give back. And I, I tend to do that. I'm not trying to brag or anything, but <laughs> I do uh, like to do pretty regular giveaways on the channel just because um, I like to um, feel like I like I do like to feel like I'm giving back to you guys because, you know, without the, the viewers, it would just be me talking to myself like an idiot. So I mean, even though I do, I do enjoy it, even I'd, I'd still probably do it if I got no views. Uh, I really appreciate all you guys and all the subscribers and everything, so giveaway. <laughs> but that's going to wrap it up for today's video. Let me know um, what was your favorite card from the, from the video. Mine was probably the Charizard Vivid Voltage that we got in a PSA 10. So, uh, yeah, but if you enjoyed this video, smash that like rating down below. Don't forget to subscribe, like I said before. And until next time, stay legendary.